Stanley Frosham was born in 1882 in Bournemouth, England, and he was filled with the Spirit in 1908. Stanley Frosham and Smith Wigglesworth were great friends. In fact, when Stanley Frosham married Alice Rawlins, Smith Wigglesworth performed the wedding ceremony. Stanley Frosham knew and ministered with Smith Wigglesworth, Howard Carter, W.F.P. Burton, the Jeffries brothers, and other ministers who were in the forefront of the Pentecostal outpouring. Stanley and Alice Frodsham moved to the United States, and he was elected General Secretary of the Assemblies of God in 1916. At one time, Stanley Frodsham edited the Pentecostal Evangel, which was the publication of the Assemblies of God, and indeed all of their publications, all of their books, all of their Sunday school quarterlies, everything. He edited all of them for a number of years. And by doing this, he became very well known in spirit-filled Pentecostal circles at the time. And people who read his books and read his articles found them so insightful and so prophetic and so balanced and so scriptural that they came to give him the affectionate title of God's prophet with a pen. Brother Frodsham spent his final years living in Springfield, Missouri, where he and Howard and Ruth Carter attended Bill Britton's church. And some of the recordings I have of Stanley Frodsham were given to me by Bill Britton's daughter, Becky Britton Voles. Other recordings of Stanley Frodsham came from Elam Bible Institute in upstate New York. Keith Malcolmson is a minister in Limerick, Ireland, who's done a great deal of research into the early Pentecostal leaders like Smith Wigglesworth, Stanley Frodsham, Howard Carter, and others. He writes this, his ministry was totally Christ-centered and he was bold in dealing with error when encountering it. When he came across groups that were way out, if they did not hearken to the clarity of Scripture, then he departed from them and avoided them. He also writes, Out of a deep hunger for God, he was moved more than ever before to give his early mornings and all night to God in prayer. He said, I'm sure God has much for us who will get desperate and spend much time waiting on him. Lester Sumrall also knew Stanley Frodsham very well, and he wrote of him, Every time I visited Stanley Frodsham, he gave me a new perspective on the human heart, the Adamic nature in rebellion against God. He would sit and cry while he talked of this, and he would say, Remember, the will of man is the biggest hindrance to God. He said, we must be servants who do not choose our destinies and do not choose the things we want to do. We must choose Jesus, and he chooses our paths through life. It was always a learning time when you went into his office. Young preachers always were given a welcome in his office. He wanted to show them how to be great, although he himself was not a very effective speaker. However, his pen was tuned for greatness. He truly was a great man. Stanley Frotcham went to heaven in 1969 and his beloved wife Marjorie joined him two months later. One of his last letters to his daughter he wrote this statement, make much of the Word of God, make much of the blood, and make much of the shortness of time. Stanley Frotcham stood the test of time and served as a prophet of God for many years ending his race in integrity and in honor. I pray that you will choose the same path as did Stanley Frodsham, God's prophet with a pen.